one two minutes in the brief uh, let me tell you what i have covered so far in the last two sessions so we started with the research is all about just like uh, the society is all about us the research is all about the variable variables are related relation of the variable is called as the hypothesis that's precisely what we look in the review of literature we try to find what relationship is there between the two variables in case uh, there are conflicting literature where it says uh, a leads to b and uh, at times it doesn't lead to b in that case uh, you can take a null hypothesis otherwise hypothesis is always directional the meaning of the directional is uh, you must always specify that this is the relation between the two variables then uh, how to measure is the biggest thing how to measure anything so see the scholars of uh, science are so blessed because every single thing is certain all units are certain but uh, in social science till date we have not made any instrument which can tell me what's going inside your mind so we have to ask a question and we have to rely on the other person so if you need to check that other person uh, is telling me truth or not then we use reflective skill and if you believe that other person will tell you the truth and just take the response as such then that is called as the formative skill so in the reflective scale along with the response we are always interested in looking for whether the person is telling me truth or not so we can never check whether the person is telling the truth we can check whether the person is consistent so if a person is uh, consistently you know lying then also that's okay we can say check only consistency that is given by cronbeck alpha or composite reliability these are the indicators and uh, when i'm asking the different thing so do you understand that these are the all different issues this is part 1 i asked then part 2 part 3 if you understand that that is called as the discriminant validity ability to discriminate between the constructs so it's a, from the respondent side we ensure that the person understood that this was something else and this was something else so that is uh, discriminant validity why discriminant validity is violated in my videos i have shared that uh, whenever it comes to emotional responses so whenever it comes to emotional responses then discriminant validity is violated most of the time then we went ahead we said uh, depending on whether it's a one variable or two variable we have univariate and the bivariate analysis in the bivariate how you measure is very important in univariate also but in the bivariate we uh, we set in the measurement two terms metric and non metric so there are so many ways in which you can ask the questions particularly in the survey experiments it's always a ratio experiments you take actual data that's a ratio variable so wherever the money terms comes actual money export figure import figure these are the ratio variables but when you take data in the survey most of the time it's like gender age so in the age we are not asking the actual age we are asking the we have made certain classes 25 to 30 30 to 35 so on when these are in classes it is called as non metric binary is again non metric so one other name for non metric is categorical measurement so if it is categorical so what is a categorical measurement when the question is mcq when the question is binary when the question is rank when the question is of formative scale these all are non metric what is metric reflective scale and actual data measured in the actual units with the open ended question these two are metric so on the basis of metric and non metric we made a table table 1 table 2 one variable like uh, i consider everybody the people i think 128 people are present so if i will note down everybody's age actual age so i can play with the mean median i can find out the mod i can use the standard deviation coefficient of skewness percentile decile all this stuff we can work with but if i will simply note down everybody's whether boy or girl only two things when i note down then <laughs> there is no point of finding out the average there is no average of this data it can be just computed how many girls were there how many boys were there so it's count at the maximum i can say out of 128 this much percentage was there so we can talk in terms of percentage when it's a 2 2 by 2 so basically it's a r everything is up so you know for better understanding of r we need to understand marriage so if you understand marriage then you will understand r because it very closely resembles to that so 
in the marriage also there are uh, so many particularly if uh, somebody is going for arranged marriage there are so many permissions are required that uh, this person agree that agree chacha ji mama ji bua ji nana ji so many people they need to give their consent and then the things go ahead so that's uh, the sort of oils regression ordinary list way regression 10 are the assumptions and 10 sort of nodding you require this okay 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 then you go ahead with it so at times we have a case like uh, you know one party is agree parents of one side they agree the other they are not agree so half of the assumptions it reduced to half only one side so we call it as a t test or anova from the 10 it directly drops to three assumptions only three are the assumption that's why because one is metric other is non metric and when both are non metric absolutely no assumption or rather at the maximum one assumption is there that is data must be large enough sample must be large enough so that becomes cross step so tomorrow we will talk about why r and t and f and cross step they are all are one and the same thing i have not differentiated between correlation and regression correlation and regression are simply you know relation between two is called r carl pearson coefficient of correlation so r between x and y is same that of y and x relation between the two there is no dependent independent both are at the same status so now think of the marriage whenever boy and girl they get married one of them become a husband other becomes a wife non changeable you can't transfer non transferable designation for the next 50 years 70 years you can't say you can't say after 5 years so now you become wife i become husband you can't say like this so it means when it is non who is a dependent who is a independent we call it it becomes a regression the same correlation becomes a regression when the you know in terms of what is dv what is idv then it becomes regression correlation and regression is just the same thing regression is a better because here we know in terms of dv idv and uh, regression presupposes correlation in one of the indicator so when uh, there is only one uh, dependent variable and one independent this is called simple look for the terminology looking from the simple regression it seems there must be something like complex regression no no there is nothing like what is meant by simple simple means independent one dependent one that is called simple when independents are more than one it becomes a multiple regression so other than simple regression there is something else called the multiple regression so look dependent variable is always always one in regression if you violate this particular you know can you believe it this is also one of the assumption if you violate this assumption that dependent is more than one then you enter into the zone of manova or path analysis or higher sort of analysis so if dependent is one in and can be many but there can be multiple regression it can be case of n way anova depending on how you measure your independent variable so dependent is always one so these are the things which we will discuss so far i have just discussed rather i have discussed very less i have given more of the referencing hyperlinking this is the video this is the video this is the video because uh, in the month of april i worked with the campus technology i took three session in three sunday i think every session is of one and a half hour so you know if we start a discussion we need to discuss that much so that's why i avoided uh, many of the questions because uh, those questions uh, require a lengthy discussion and here i am looking for the r studio so i have given you just the basic idea about the variables hypothesis etc i want to discuss that in much detail i have not started r studio okay so some of you uh, gave me very interesting feedback they said r studio we couldn't understand well thank god because i have not started r studio so <laughs> i r studio will talk, talk in this session okay so let me just uh, share my screen and uh, start where we were so we were discussing about uh, this particular page in this particular page uh, okay somebody is asking in the chat <laughs> arun uh, i will answer this question about uh, normality of a likert scale Uh, in the maybe in the 4:30 session, in the last session, okay. Let's uh, focus on uh, particularly on this R studio in this session because uh, else we will deviate. It's a lengthy discussion, uh, but certainly we will. I will take your questions. Okay. So in this one particular uh, look for this, uh, we are talking about uh, the examples. Example is uh, about the empty cars. Empty cars is in the base package. 
So if you simply write on your uh, console question mark empty cars, it will tell you in the help section that what this uh, is about. If it's not a readable, then uh, it says uh, it's extracted by 1974 motor trend US magazine data. It's actual data. 32 observations are there and almost 12, uh, 11 are the columns. There is MPG, that's uh, MPG stands for miles per gallon. Then there is CYL, that's a cylinder. Only three values are there. Vehicles uh, got a four cylinder, six cylinder, eight cylinder. There is HP horsepower, DRAT, DRAT, that's a stand for real Excel ratio. DRAT is the ratio of Excel. Then there is a WT is the weight, QSEC is the second. Uh, it's a, in how much a second the vehicle reaches to this particular speed, a quarter mile time. QSEC stands for quarter mile in how much seconds it will reach. VS, now this is a code it. V means uh, V engine or S means the street engine. Now VS, now look for this. Now this is uh, going to create a problem. Remember, when you write anything in the numbers, by default R Studio or any other package will consider these are the numbers. So I must add them, I must calculate their standard deviation, mean, etc. But here we say, no, no, no. Zero means V-shaped engine and one means it's a straight engine. So it's a category of the engine. What sort of engine was there in the uh, your uh, vehicle? It means this is code. This should not be considered as number. This should be considered code. So you remember what I tell to R what sort of data it is. Its name will be factor. So I will call it, I will uh, instruct R that hey R, this is a factor. So this is the point what I'm calling that uh, first, uh, if you remember something about SPSS, uh, some of you know about SPSS, the first step is whenever you give any data into the code one, that this is a code for this, like gender one, two, one is for boy, two is for girl. When you enter data like this, in that case, we have to first define what is the code. In SPSS, this is called in a variable view, but uh, here we need to tell the same. Likewise, AM. AM stands for the data is 0 and 1. 0 means automatic and 1 means manual. So wherever 0 is there, it means that, that particular vehicle was uh, having the automatic uh, gear set and otherwise it was the manual gear was there, 0 and the 1. Then gear, how many gears are there? It is a 3, 4, 5 sort of data. CRAB is a data related to carburetor. So this is the data set which is available with all of you. Uh, maybe tomorrow I will give you some files, but uh, today we will work with the empty cars because this data is available with all of you. Uh, when you are using any file which is there in the package itself, then we don't require the first step of I, import. Import is always, as the name indicates, import means it's outside our studio. So it's a maybe Excel format, SPSS format, CSV format. But when something is there inside our studio, you don't import. But yes, the rest of the two steps, remember IVA, import, the second is view, third is attach. These things you need to do. So you must attach and view. Like at the moment I have done the view, so if I'll write to find out the mean of MPG, mean bracket MPG, MPG is the name. It will say what is MPG, I don't know. Why? Because we have not attached it. After attaching, it will realize, okay, okay, this MPG, I understood them. Then it will compute, else not. So either you can first attach, then view, or first view, then attach. These are independent, but uh, importing is not required for the files which are there in the package. No importing is required. You can directly call them. So now the first step, I will let me explain you, then we'll go to the R Studio. The first point is, what we will do, we will take uh, this I explained that write question mark, question mark empty cars means what is this data set, tell me about it. So question mark is a wonderful thing. Before anything write question mark and you will get the help, what is this? And view, remember V is capital, capital V, view with a capital V. So view means just show me the data, so it will come here. Now when the data is shown here, I have actually spaced the other column. So it's not something like uh, other is gone. So you can see there is a maximize button. Uh, so if I'll click, it will again resize. So this paints the portion of the screen, you can resize. When you bring here, the pointer changes to the arrow, then you can change this. But uh, first let's go ahead, I will work on this AM. Let me try to tell R how to tell. This is called data preparation. Whenever you take any sort of data, first thing is you tell that software what your codes means to. So here I will take AM. Now provide label to the code. The first thing is 
I will strongly, strongly recommend you please don't type. You let our studio do the thing. You type three alphabets and then use tab button because look at the spelling of label. It's not L A B L E. It's a L A B E L. Okay, so you need to be very careful about this. So I wrote a command A is equal to as dot factor M. Now let's uh, take it one by one. Before that, I assume that I have attached the data file. Otherwise, it will say what is AM. So I have attached the data file. After attaching the data file, always read it from the just like Urdu language. Write it from uh, read it from right to left. So let's uh, read it uh, like Urdu. AM. So AM means what is AM? So it will check that yes, uh, I got a file attached at uh, this empty cars. In that there is a variable called AM. If you don't attach, then it will say what is AM? Error will come. Okay, AM. Then it says as dot factor. Now as dot is one of the most wide command. You can practically convert anything to anything which can be converted. So I am saying let me convert. What sort of data is there? By default, AM. AM is the numeric data because R says all the numbers are written in it. So what we will say? We say as dot factor. Consider it as factor. So as dot is one of the wonderful command for converting anything into anything. So if you write as dot, a drop menu will come, and that's just such a wide drop menu. You will find well everything can be converted to anything that is which is possible. <laughs> okay, so it say okay, I got it. That whatever zero and one is written, these are not numerical data. These are codes something. I understand that. Okay, what I should do for the with that? Then I said a is equal to. It means I am saying with this knowledge that this is a sort of a factor data. These are the codes, not the numbers. You save it in the variable a. Now where is the variable a? There is nothing. So it's a, okay. I understood that I need to make a new variable a. And where the new variable will go? The new variables always go to the global environment. One portion of the screen is called global environment. It will go there. So why it is meant by the global environment? Global environment means now it is possible that you open any other file and use that variable in the second file. Okay, it's per perfectly perfectly possible. Now please tell me, is it possible that uh, you have opened the two SPSS file and in one SPSS file you actually want the data of the other SPSS file? Means I want to run regression with the dependent variable of this file and independent variable of any other file. <laughs> I doubt you want to be able to do that. First you need to copy that data and paste in this current one, and then you will be able to do that. But R Studio it says absolutely no problem. You can say these are the three files. Take the data of the first and the second and apply a regression in the third one using global variables. We can use that. That's why the name is global. It means you can use it practically. What sort of data file is open? I will take this variable there. Global environment. So this data is available. So what its meaning is? Its meaning is I have given an instruction to the R that convert the number. Look at the word numbers. By default, it's numeric. How do it know? Because whenever R understand only two things, either there is something called text or numbers. Okay, so if it is text, it will be considered string. If it is number, it will be considered numeric. If in that column of the numbers there is any text also written, then the entire column will be taken as the text. Okay, please remember that. Even if in any of the cell of that particular column, if there is any text, then the entire column will be taken as the text. So here I said convert the numbers zero and one given in the variable am. Where is the am? That's in the attached uh, empty cars. So you must attach that first, uh, that am, and convert it to the factor. What is meant by the factor? Factor means I am giving instruction that hey are this zero and one. These are the codes. These will be counted. How many times zero is there? How many times one is there? You count them. You don't add or take their sum or average. Don't do that sort of stuff. It is coding. Okay. And then further, I said save it as another variable uh, in the global environment. Okay, so if I just check summary, summary is a fantastic command. I will use it uh, a lot. Summary bracket a. So it means tell me about this variable. So if you find out the summary, it will tell zero comes this time and one comes this time. I will just show you. Just listen it. If you are not getting, absolutely no problem. Don't panic. Just uh, uh, be with me. Just before that, uh, just a request to admins. I hope you have started the recording. If not, please start the recording. Then next command I have written a is equal to factor 
a labels seems to be a lengthy one <laughs> i think this is one of the most complex thing in that if you understand this rest all are so simple it is one of the most lengthiest thing see what it says first thing a is equal to something now you can say just you have written a is equal to this yeah no problem one property of r is r never objects r will never say so it means okay the name of the file is m t c a r s there is no g in between m t cars okay so uh, though i will appreciate if you <laughs> just listen to me now we will uh, do it uh, little later so see i i made uh, i dot a is equal to 10 then in the next line i write a is equal to 12 now most of the softwares will say hey you have just said it's 10 should i overwrite it or do you want to it they will ask certain things r says no 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 we understand that you are a wise person so if you are saying 12 forget about the previous one a will be 12 third you say r a is equal to 20 so a will become 20 so it will never ever object that earlier you have written this and now you are changing absolutely not so it means i have written this command now i am saying overwrite this with what with what is written on this side okay what is written factor so number one as dot factor and factor are different commands as dot factor simply say convert and factor says that whatever the variable is there let me add something to it i am doing something on it factor please remember as dot factor and factor these are two separate commands this is not the same thing as dot factor simply say convert this into factor what is meant by factor you please don't consider it as numerical value these are the codes you just count them this is non metric okay factor is another command where you put additional information like labels okay then is say now remember we read it from the right hand side so right hand side first this bracket factor okay give additional input to whom to a this now it will take the previous one take this a okay now what should i do with this a labels labels means this code got a new a value a text value whenever i write 0 and 1 or 2 they got a meaning now in most of the softwares like spss you new you need to give the code like 1 means boy 2 means girl r here also is very efficient r say i know about the data i read your data there is 1 2 3 4 written don't tell me just sequentially give me the codes sequentially sequentially means first the from lowest to the highest give me the codes so if there is 0 and 1 code will go to 0 and 1 if it is 1 and 2 the same code will go to 1 and 2 so it will say i know your data i already read your data because you attached the file i read the data that particular column i know what values are in that column and you converted into factors also now just tell me their values in sequence so i write here as labels is equal to c now what is meant by c c means here concatenation or combine it says please read it as whenever i give the command of more than one more than one then we use the c if there is only one value for example the value is a is equal to 1 i will write factor a label is equal to no c in double quotes automatic if there is only one value you simply provide it in the double quotes if there is more than one value and you want to say in this order respectively in this particular so this is called as c this i will use it a lot it always means there are a group of numbers and the group of numbers must be handled in a ascending order and in this so i have written here automatic manual i have not defined who will be automatic so it will say since your data is 0 and 1 so naturally 0 will be automatic 1 will be manual had this data be like 51 and 53 so this one we go to 51 this will go to 53 so it will take the data in the ascending order and just it says give me now since you know am got two value 0 and 1 if i give it only one value automatic so there can be an error it says well i expected two if you give three there will be error so if you give two it says yeah i got it so zero will be given a code of automatic one will be given code of manual after doing this i will understand this what i will do now this command says overwrite it on a so it's a double role first it will take this uh, thing do all the operation zero means automatic one means manual etc and then you said overwrite it on we could have done it as double a 
or a1 a2 that's perfectly okay but in general we say why we require it will be create confusing <coughs> sorry so the second thing i said provide the numbers now i have written as 0 1 and 2 it's not 1 and 2 it's 0 and 1 actually given in the variable a in the with the label of automatic and manual respectively and overwrite it on the variable a so now if we take the summary of a this time it will say automatic this and manual this okay i will just show you it so please remember this too the first point wherever since most of you work with the survey method and in the survey method look at the mcq questions look at the binary question the ranking questions they are not the numbers they are the codes which you give so we enter the data on the basis of code now most of you these days work on the google spreadsheet google drive you make a form and uh, form the good thing is people reply submit and the data comes into the excel format now if you're working with that please remember there you don't require this activity because the data is never in the course so one two if you wish to take that uh, google spreadsheet into spss first you need to change male with one female with two and those numbers need to be pasted in spss but in r there is no such thing required okay so please be very comfortable with the handling with the google spreadsheets so look for this a factor a this is this point and the second a could be same it could be different it could be same it could be different we will talk about it there is one more thing iterative methodology the meaning of iterative methodology is we frequently do it in r what we do just like see i have written a command for aov analysis of variance okay the names are so lovely so small names aov analysis of variance marks depends on gender so in just this line i wrote it to the complete one that gender this is a non metric variable categorical variable and marks this is a metric variable marks depends on gender apply the analysis of variance don't worry we will discuss it tomorrow but what i have said whatever the output of this comes save it in the variable x i could have written it as aov marks depends on gender bracket and press enter something output will come but here what i prefer instead of showing out on the console i say aov this take the output and put the output into the x variable okay and then summary of the x we will see that difference if you simply write aov etc it will give you very very precise answer and if you get summary it will give you detailed answer so i this entire output i have saved in s now next i said i applied a tucky test on that that's a post hoc comparison tucky hsd <laughs> this is really funny name honestly significant difference i don't know why tucky was so you know was under pressure or something why he has to write honestly significant difference okay tucky hsd now instead of writing this entire one this output i put into the tucky hsd i saved this output in t then t the output will come then i said plot t so can you see what i am doing it's a iterative methodology means in circular i will use first save the output of a function in a variable and then reuse i saved the output of analysis of variance in x x i used as argument in the next variable saved it into t and used t as argument in the next one so this is a very frequent way we will go ahead except a couple of functions like t test etc for rest majority of the functions i will go with this that i will save write a function take the output put it as it as argument take its output put it as argument in the next one so this is sort of a iterative methodology now we can start with the r studio okay so i have asked the admins that uh, please share this ppt and uh, hopefully they will share it uh, soon with you now let's see the r studio where is the r studio let me open the r studio so this is r studio i have done it nf ju hope you must be able to just see it let me open any file i am opening just uh, or let's don't open any file okay now these are the four things this particular thing uh, i have request admins to give me a feedback are uh, they able to see the screen and it, is it readable suman akshita anyone from the campus technology team 
Okay. So I hope uh, you are able to this. <laughs> Though it will create a problem it is, for it me. Is, it is visible, sir. It is visible. Sorry, I was on mute. Readable. Also. Readable. Yes, yes, sir. It is readable and visible both, sir. Okay. So if you want to uh, in your system, if you want to do any zoom or zoom in etc., it's a uh, control plus and control minus. So if you are using uh, external keyboard, so plus and minus are there with the arrow keys. So if uh, you do control minus. So it's a C, it becomes something like more things will come on that. And if you do control plus, it will be zoom. So I have used quite a zoom so that uh, things may be visible to you. This portion is for the file as well as for the script. Now a shortcut for that is uh, script is it's say from here. It says file, new file and first one is the script. And what is the shortcut? Control shift N, control shift N. You remember I mean most of the softwares Control N is the shortcut for new file in MS Word, text, PPT. Control N is the new file. So Control Shift N means a new file here, but that is of our script. That's as simple as, as, as good as a text file. So here is a sort of a floppy button here. So when you save it, next time just give the name and save with that capital R, dot capital R. Where it will be saved? Yes, first we should talk about that where it will be saved. So there is always a default folder. So how to set the default folder? Actually, that's the first step. Go to the session, set working directory and choose directory. Go to the session. This is always the first step you should do when starting working on this R Studio. What is this? A keyboard uh, shortcut if you remember, Control Shift H, that's better. Or it's a session, set working directory, choose directory. So see, by default, what is the directory? I told you in this PC, there is a documents. In the document, there is a folder R. This folder will come when you will install R and R Studio. This is my default folder. It means when I will ask it to open anything, it will search the files from here. It, if I'll say export, the things will be exported from here. I keep it uh, this as the default. But if you want uh, that, uh, maybe uh, your entire files are there in D drive, you can make that as the default one for that session and this step need to be done every time you start the R studio or uh, like me you can work on the default one. Now just uh, check it out. Let me show you my uh, that uh, what, what are the contents in the R. So this one R just see it says images, ebooks, win library, package, study material, Nishant, scripts etc. Okay. The same things should be visible here in the file tab. So see here cheat sheet, data file, ebooks, images, Nishant, etc. So all these files are visible here. Now you can open the files from here also, like day to R. If you click on it, so it will ask you opening the file. We can open directly. The, this is the syntax file. I can open from here. I can open all sort of the file. This is statistical analysis for the table. Where table one, table two I have defined. PDF file, etc. Word file. You can open from here directly. This is as good as opening your My Documents folder. So file we discussed. Package. How many packages do I have? The package like summary tools. Let me check. S U double M double M A. It says with this you have the summary tools. You have A P L pack. You have the star gazer. The three. Why then this star gazer? Because in the description it is written S U double M summary word. So it will find the summary word in the description or in the summary tool. It will say, well, this file is available. So if this package is available, that means I don't require an internet connection. Even in the offline mode, I can use this. Okay. And likewise, you can now uh, check out if it's not available then. So click on the tools, click on the install package. And there you will simply write here as S U double M wait for the drop menu. If drop menu comes, that means uh, you got a good internet speed. If it's not coming, then it means, yeah, it means my net is properly connected because this particular list, it takes from the CRAN. It takes from the CRAN server. That's why it takes a few seconds. Summary tool, click on the install, the things will be installed. So I ask you a couple of things. What are the things? I ask you that please install movements, then Nortest, Psyche, CFA or Lawan, Psyche. These are the packages. Do install CAR, C-A-R. So R works a lot on the abbreviation C-A-R doesn't mean Honda car or uh, Maruti Suzuki car. Uh, it means a car is companion to applied regression. C-A-R stands for 
companion to apply regression now there are 16000 packages you must know about the package then uh, somebody is asking that should we install the learn r well that's a fantastic if you know about any such package is there learn r there is a package if you know what's inside the package you can go ahead with it i never used this package so if you know then it's a uh, really good what else is there so let's try to work uh, r this is my console i can write here also i can write here also one thing because uh, you know console uh, it's just like uh, you know you remember its name this is blinking and the one i am moving the one i am moving is called as the pointer and the one which is blinking it's called as the cursor so this cursor now look for these are the four pins but these four pins i can actually like minimize so this is package i can click here console i can minimize this now console is here available for clearing the console the keyboard shortcut is control l clear so it will clear the previous things we often require it likewise this one you can minimize okay you can uh, maximize it and this will be minimized but uh, you can always customize it wherever you want if you want this uh, three pane four pane etc you can always customize no issues with it in case uh, you got a console on the right hand uh, left hand side it is possible but don't worry about that it simply says uh, from here uh, view pins and here there is a option control a console on the left console on the right so most of the time it ways goes like this if you install it there are high chances that a console will be on this side okay but uh, this environment is not used enough this file plot they are not used enough these two are required a lot so my personal preference is i take console on the right hand side so that uh, these two i can minimize and i write the input here i get the output here so let's see let's start working with it simply r as the calculator okay x is equal to 10 so remember when you are writing in the console you need to press if I, if i press enter what will happen just like that text file it will go the cursor will go to the next line if you want to run it so press control enter or there is this particular icon is there which says run so it says x is equal to 10 and now where you will get it look at the this x is equal to 10 okay now next it says x is equal to 12 now most of the software will object no 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 you just said it's a 10 but i'll say no problem no no problem this value here is updated as 10 okay then i say x is equal to 45 into 89 control enter it says yes it is 4005 so it's just like as a calculator i'm using it and whatever variable i am making the variables are coming here new variable y is equal to for this okay and z is equal to square root of sqrt just like excel x plus y okay control enter it says yes z value comes where is that z value it says when you said that you must show the value you simply said calculate z is value this so z value is 97 point up to this decimal place if you want to show z write z press enter the value will come one means this is the one thing which you asked for if multiple then it will return 1 2 3 4 so this is r as a calculator we are simply using it and the purpose of uh, doing this exercise was whenever you make a new variable they will always come into the global environment in the environment global environment remember that let me clear this there is no use of all these points let me uh, import data just see how to import the data number one you must have those packages what are the name of the package read r for importing the csv file read excel so let's let me do one thing let me show you that particular read oh, where is the package package in that instead of this let me write read so read r for read rectangular text file this is for csv read excel this is for reading the excel file and likewise we can go for haven h a v e n do i have that haven yes import data of spss data ses data you can import so haven should be there if you don't have then you know what you need to do go to the their uh, tools install and give the name and install it in a minute it will be installed now let me work on the i am working uh, at the moment i am in the base uh, package so in the base package i have a thing called empty cars question mark empty cars here you need not to press control button because in the console if you write something enter will do 
so it says let me minimize it it's a motor trend car road test the data was extracted from 1974 data and uh, this is the things 32 observation 11 are the variables the name of the variables are first is mpg that's miles per gallon this slash is for per miles per gallon cyl is the cylinder displacement and coming here vs v is the v shaped engine and one is the state engine likewise am zero means automatic transmission and one means a manual transmission gear etc cyl is the number of cylinder which is only 468 let's uh, minimize it we don't require it if you want to clear this xyz this is uh, sort of uh, this button clear object clear yeah clear all okay so let's see here remember i v a but uh, we don't uh, require import but let me show you how to import the data we will work on the empty cars but let me show you how to import import from base radar excel spss i want excel data okay so the moment this menu starts there is a browse yeah browse where is it which folder it will search for the folder document r remember it will search the default folder your default folder it's there in the data files in the data files i want to open this demo file is it excel file yeah so there is a very minor difference this is csv this is excel demo so please look for the what it has done just allow me to it's retrieving the preview data i cannot minimize it here see here it's written library re demo this is this it means we could have written the in the console we could have written the commands or somebody has made this menu that you come from here and the code will be automatically written for you now when we uh, import it generally the name will be kept as name of the file like it proposes in r let's call it as a demo if you say instead of demo i will call it as a data or data set you can change from here if you are working in uh, r uh, is importing excel file now remember in the excel there are number of sheets it might be possible which sheet you want to import maybe 5th 6th so here you can use the drop menu demo normality test etc which particular sheet data you require then whether it require entire sheet data or you may restrict first 100 file first five columns etc you may restrict or number of rows you can give first row as the name it's always good first row as a name so excel we make it a rule whenever you enter data in excel the first row should always be column heading there's a golden rule in excel that will help you a lot in successive work so it says name and see automatically it has taken character okay it is already understood the character age because it contains number as well as text also and i told you that in the cell if there is at even a minimum in any of the cell of that column there is any text the entire column will be considered as the text or character this is also there income why they, these are numbers but there is a hyphen <laughs> because of this hyphen this entire is considered as a character if no hyphen this will be taken as a numeric data gender boy girl qualification pg ug math see there is no hyphen nothing so it is taken as double now what is meant by the double double is again a sort of a data type for a very large number where a large number is called as the double this language is comes from c c++ uh, somebody asked a question that in which language uh, r studio was made uh, i'm not uh, see r was made r r in itself is a language dear and uh, when uh, we make a language we actually make the compiler of that language but yes r studio i can tell you it's uh, primarily it was made in c++ later on they might have added something r in its own is a language so they make compiler basically for making any language r studio initially was made in c++ now they might have added something so these are the terminology from c c and c++ decimal in computers is called as float after decimal place how many numbers will come if it's a large number it's called as the double so those sort of stuff number double etc all all are considered as the double though it's a five point scale quality 1 quality 6 this is the likert scale statement so now what i will do i will go to can i find import yes import now in the global environment we should see that should come where is my import it says yes and by default see their view is also there in that in that uh, package i opened here in the excel so see by default can you see here view is also written view database the data set that's also written there v with the capital v so we can see this now we get uh, this one 
so let me try to uh, see it let's say hindi is there find the mean of hindi so it said object hindi not found which hindi where is it so say it's here <laughs> no <laughs> we forget to attach remember until unless you attach what we have done we imported we viewed but where we have attached so we cannot work on a hindi so there are two ways either i will say simple way is no first let me show other ways i say you know demo demo is there with you so when you want it's a very important thing dollar <laughs> now dollar in excel means something else it's for addressing system and dollar in r means when you want a small portion of something that is dollar let me repeat it dollar in excel it's always for the addressing system for making its absolute addressing system but when you are working with the r studio dollar means say i am writing here as mean of demo dollar now it says a dollar uh, sorry demo demo dollar it says a demo i got uh, 32 uh, variables i got so many things what do you want from this all those things come here these are all the variables now i will say that uh, hi so it said do you want to hindi yeah hindi press tab see on the left hand side tab button is there press tab hindi and if you press enter it will tell you so one method is always tell it this file and this variable okay the easy method is you say no <laughs> i hope you like this you write only three alphabets it will say do you want to write attach yeah attach what attach demo attached okay now i can write here as mean of hindi now it know what is meant by this 71.35 in 2 3 is answer okay shall, shall we clear it this now few people will say well uh, that is okay that's a simple but uh, if again i have to write a mean of english i have to write entire this no 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 r studio comes to your rescue in it you know either you should have written it here why you are writing it in console console is temporary if you want it permanent for example if i write it here as mean of hindi it comes now this is available with you any time you can come back and run it okay this is first so but i have made a mistake i have not attached and i have not done no problem remember history <laughs> it remembers everything you done it says library then you worked view then we worked with this demo hindi attached demo sent to source it comes here oh my god it comes in between so before it let me create on this place i said from the history send it to source it comes here so whatever you require you require a mean of anything else mean demo in the view etc you can send from here but ideally preferably you should write the things in the syntax in this one script how to get the script control shift n a new script file will come and if you want to save it how will save it where it will save it will save in the default folder uh, my first script if i'll save it it will be text file dot capital r that's it dot capital r will say okay okay this is a new file and shall we see how it uh, appears like in the r folder so my first script it will seem like this if your r studio is closed you double click first r studio will open and then this file will open okay clearing the console what is the shortcut control l will put it clear side by side okay now let's work on this was about the importing part that's uh, pretty easy you can import only that package should be there so now we should work with empty cars question mark empty now check for the spelling not g empty cars so it will tell you question mark means tell me about it so it starts from here no import required for the files which are in the r itself which are in the packages itself but yes they require view with the capital v so it comes here right these are the things correct that's good but uh, in that this variable mpg i can work directly it's uh, numeric uh, we can ask it str what is the structure of this mpg that's it says no what is mpg <laughs> at times it seems uh, like it should have been intelligent uh, attach mpg not mpg attach empty cars okay attached now will the structure work mpg it says it's a numeric variable 
it's a numeric variable there are 1 to 31 and uh, they it's written 22 next is 21 third one is 22.8 21 and and so on so it's a numeric variable okay and uh, what about uh, str what about the am variable am also numeric because it contains only two value but do you remember here it told that am actually am means a is for zero means automatic and one is manual now see this is the problem if you ask for summary of am so what it should tell it will tell minimum is zero maximum is one median is this mean comes 0.4 first quartile third quartile but it's a useless actually these are codes i expect r to tell me how many times zero was there how many times one was there i don't want this mean median just think of if i said one means boy two means girl and analysis comes 1.32 what is that what is meant by this when it is boys and girls only count should be done not this sort of stuff so let's say it like a is equal to as dot now just see as dot it's such a big one just see how many things are there so one of the biggest one as a, 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 a as dot you can convert poxit poxit is basically for uh, date date and time it's called poxit functions so see how much we can change anything to anything so I said as dot factor press tab. Have you noted this thing? The moment I am writing here as dot fact, okay. So just not one more time as dot factor. And if you bring here on the left hand side, can you see this? It start telling you about that. Press F1 for additional help as dot data dot frame this this this. I will do this. It starts telling. It's ready to you know teach you. Press tab. And I say am. Do you understand what it's meaning? And uh, please remember, you need to do it only once with the file. And uh, that uh, there's the same thing you need to do with your SPSS also. It's the same thing. So we are just telling, hey, this am is not numeric data. It is factor data. So as dot factor. Okay. So where is this a? Check this out. Can you see this? A is a factor with two levels. There are only two levels, zero and one now look for if i'll ask for summary of a it says zero is 19 times one is 13 times mm. so after all it's not that stupid if you properly train r can become intelligent also since you have given the data am like one and zero and r assumed it's these are the numbers so when you ask for its summary it will give minimum maximum first quartile third quartile and so on but we told no 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 it's not uh, uh, the numeric data it's factor now what's a factor anything to whom we will give the code okay so here you should prior know that uh, there is something called data collection then you go, go for data entry and data entry we do primarily in the course we don't give like exact thing we give the course multiple choice question options will be considered as the course now this is okay zero is coming 19 times one is coming 13 times but we will be more happy if instead of zero we find automatic and manual transmission isn't it so let's do that also so how to do that let me do it in another variable called a1 factor is the command for the same factor now it says which variable which variable i should walk in you should walk in a where is a in the global environment okay then l a b use this one don't type <laughs> okay let r work for you please 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 don't type because most of the time people are so intelligent they say exact spelling is l a b l a no we will use the spelling which r believes is to l a b e l labels then are there is there only one label you need to give or uh, there is a more than one well i i remember there are the two levels automatic and manual so i must use this respectively c means in this order what is the order in inverted commas automatic why in inverted comma because anything in the text format text is always written in the double quotes and the second one is manual with m as the capital manual uh, have you noted one thing the moment you start with single quote r says maybe you will forget let me put the <laughs> double quote because you need to write something inside it so it says with that the moment you put a bracket it closes the bracket this part was missing in Excel. 
manual okay that's it and after doing all this operation factor of this this, this where should i save it this output i said save it in the variable a1 this a1 a1 is not there so it will make a new one done so it comes a1 with this and now you can check its name is given a factor with two level 0 and 1 2 2 2 something like this and a1 is with automatic and the manual okay it give its meaning okay let let me check summary summary of a1 is it better now automatic are 19 manuals are 13 <laughs> i i know you must be wondering that uh, you know you have to do a lot of things no 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 we are not doing a lot of things it's just done once and uh, for every software you need to do it here you need to do it in spss you need to do it in uh, mystat and all other softwares once you need to tell the software uh, softwares are not uh, like uh, god they will understand what uh, you mean by this you need to tell once only once then it will be simple so let me just uh, do something else for cyl also cyl is the cylinder so let me make the name as c or uh, doesn't matter you can write any any name see in most of the languages there are the reserve words reserve words means the software will say you should not take this name you should not do this should not r is just open flexible you can give any anything r has says absolutely no problem so c is equal to as dot factor cyl okay and then well <laughs> why i am doing all the thing here uh, control l let me do the things in here so that uh, next time i can take it from here my first script so don't worry about the previous one they are safe let's take it from here mm, we have attached to source summary to source yes we worked as dot factor then summary of a then a1 then summary of a1 then c all the source okay let's work here here it will work a little bit more with the colors etc it will tell you these things or uh, shall i show you one thing mm label is in the next line this is in the next line and this comes in the next line now this particular command i have written in four lines no worries it's space independent press it will be the same answer considered as the one line okay now one thing will come a lot with you <laughs> for the beginners it comes a lot uh, yes i am repeating the labels but just see one interesting thing that will come somehow it becomes like this and we press enter okay now number one it will give you error it all the time reads it says uh, some mistake is there something is wrong here okay so okay let me press the bracket press enter again it's saying something is missing here okay somebody is saying something uh, there is absolutely no rule as per my knowledge there is no rule you can give any any name to the variable there is absolutely no thing so let me put the bracket and the moment you put the bracket i think uh, this uh, should be okay is this okay yeah it's okay so let me see one thing sum of 5 comma 6 and this bracket i have removed for some purpose and control enter okay now see what is happening it says sum plus what is meant by plus no press enter you press enter <laughs> it won't leave but it says r is a very very patientful it says yes i ex i am expecting this code is not complete i am waiting something you please add so you say okay this bracket are you expecting it will say yeah it's 11 so it means if you write improper code or something then it will say that i am you missing something i am expecting something more so it happens with the beginners a lot <laughs> you write something and you say well even my you know, greater than symbol is not coming all i am watching is the plus symbol plus symbol indicates r says something is missing so either you what you can do you write this and control enter if you are not able to get out of it press escape escape means forget about the previous one this is first way the second method is you in the console wherever you remember complete the syntax and press enter and you will get the error this uh, happens a lot with the beginners so r is a what if i write capital f right let's see it says well uh, couldn't find the function factor what is meant by factor i don't know what is factor <laughs> why so because r is a case sensitive language for the factor it has to be small f not capital f but 
yes it means you can make a new function with the, the capital f and the name as the factor you can make absolutely no problem to that but uh, it's a case sensitive meaning of the case sensitive is please write everything in the lower case and uh, then we if you require something in upper case then okay otherwise uh, for all the stuff it's in the lower case somebody said that uh, can we just uh, have a revision of uh, labels why not certainly so let me remove this let me explain it from the start see am you understand this is am let me remove this demo am look at the am it's in numbers right so let me find out the summary of am control enter it says minimum maximum mean median etc when minimum maximum are conducted only when the data is of numeric nature do you, first you understand uh, i will request the admins once again to share the ppt with you the point here is univariate when there is one variable that is numeric we calculate mean median standard deviation etc but when there is one variable that is non metric now what is non metric mcq questions binary question ranking question formative scale these all are called as the non metric so when they are non metric what we apply we apply the count and percentage okay so for the am since look at the am you yourself are telling am is 0 and 1 and 0 and number as far as our understanding 0 and 1 are the numbers so numbers must be summed up they must be minimum maximum we do this with the numbers they don't say no 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 these are not numbers these are codes when you say these are codes this is the way you are saying it's a factor please remember factor means it appears as a number but it is a code it means something else don't uh, get the total read it how many times it was there you understand the meaning of uh, handling non metric codes factor factor is a very important word okay so uh, okay somebody is asking when we do plus symbol control plus what happens uh, actually what i said sum of 4 and 5 now can you see there is a mistake i have not closed this bracket control enter when the con in the console i get plus plus means r says i expect something else from you something is missing here i expect something from your side so if you keep pressing enter r will always say yes 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 i am listening listening either do this complete that code okay if you complete the code what will happen answer will you get else what you can do if you are tired and you are you don't know what is happening escape means forget about the previous come out of that that is called forgetting about the previous and that's escape this equation what is uh, okay i'm so happy with your questions at least you know questions that tell me that uh, you are not sleeping <laughs> challenge of the online class so what is meant by c and what is meant by dollar okay first can anybody guess uh, attach means attaching so if i want to say don't forget about empty cars i think the command is detach detach empty cars okay it's a detached let's check it out how to mean of mpg it says where is mpg we don't know okay so what we'll do attach empty cars uh no no import required for the files that are in the base folder is attached how do you know it's attached uh one thing you can write empty cars here in the console and just see can you recognize this symbol it's a symbol of a spreadsheet it means this is particular a file this is a file this is a spreadsheet press empty cars the all the out things will come here there it's attached right if it's a test can i found the mpg mean of mpg mean of mpg can i find that it's there because it's a test right but what if the case let me again detach it because the empty cars in the base folder i must do something from here do i have a demo no i don't have a demo so let me import from the excel another file called demo it's there in the data files and the demo yes sir taking a preview a minute import okay 
what i have done i have imported step number 1 i have done step number 2 automatically when i use that menu in that menu it was written view so i can view also remember i have not attached now in this i know there is a variable called uh, science hindi english these are the thing i want the mean of the science let me find out mean sci why come have i attached this file okay it should it should i should have said no so detach demo okay now mean of science it says science not find i can see this file demo here i can see this demo is written here but since the file is not attached so whenever you work on the mean of sci it will say no it's not there it means what we will say write demo and in that demo then next step i am saying dollar now meaning of the dollar is in this file what are the name of the columns these are the name of the columns so it means uh, what is meant by demo the question was what is meant by dollar meaning of the dollar is if you want to take a subset of the main data a portion of the main data generally like one column from the entire we can use either one we can use a dollar for example sci and we get answer still i have not attached so if you work on the mean sci it will say no sorry not found so one method is always give uh, first the name of the file and the name of the uh, variable the second method is you attach attach demo okay the moment you say attach demo now it knows your variables mean of this it comes like this hope you understand the meaning of dollar the meaning of the dollar is when you want to take a column from a given thing i'm saying given thing because it's file some time later maybe tomorrow i will say this is the entire output from the entire output take out this particular thing we will use a dollar dollar is take out a little part from a bigger part that is the dollar there was uh, another uh, query the another query was uh, why we are writing c okay let's uh, see the meaning of this uh, c here so the meaning of the c is when there is more than one thing we are providing let's see what is that uh, so i was telling you the story of uh, revision of labels summary of am summary of am it comes into this when we said no 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 it's a is equal to as dot factor am now what i told it i told c forget about the am or take the am convert it to the factor and save it to the variable a done where is it global environment a is their factor okay now if i find the summary of a it says 0 is 19 times and 1 is 13 times as dot factor means i said it's a factor don't add don't find its mean etc just count how many times zero was there how many times uh, this was there let me show you another example c is equal to first let's find the summary of cyl it's a cylinder of the, your vehicle it's only three options are there 4 6 8 4, but when i take it says mean comes out as median is 6 mean is 6.188 meaningless because vehicle has only either four cylinder six cylinder eight cylinder so mean should not be counted we should count how many times for how many vehicles are there with the four cylinder how many vehicles with the six and eight how to do that let's say c is equal to as dot factor cyl or instead of c i will write some other name so that we don't get confused instead of c i will say i will write complete cylinders okay cylinder c is equal to this now if you take the summary of uh, cylinders don't worry i have no need to type only three for alphabets and then press tab control enter it says four cylinders are 11 times six cylinders there are seven vehicles and eight cylinders there are the 14 vehicles right now will you prefer if instead of four it's written four cylinders six cylinders now if you want to give had it been only one we will write label is equal to this but since there are three in number first let's do the same with am or a a is equal to or if it's making confusing let's write a1 is equal to factor take the variable a provide the labels c c means there is more than one value and the labels must be given in this sequence see this is 0 and the 1 the values in the a are 0 and the 1 okay so 
double quotes automatic comma this one is complete the second one is m4 manual control enter done and now if you run summary i can just put a one here also uh, sequencer does not matter it's not like uh, it's written fast you can work this again you can work anyone you can work summary of a1 it comes automatic 19 manual 13 okay let's look for the same for the cylinders so i say cylinders cylinder 1 is equal to factor what was the name of the variable where your data is there cylinder why not cyl because cyl is still numeric data what is the factor data factor data is in cylinders please look for this cyl it's a numeric data cylinder it's it has been converted to factor numeric has been converted to factor that numeric i am giving the values meaning of four six eight so for the cylinders let's go with the next line cylinders what is the way oh, labels c c means in this order what are this first one is now order i need to know there are four six eight can you see it here four six eight this is here four six eight so first one will be called in the increasing order first will be called as four cylinders c y l i n d e r s and let me copy this copy the next one comes at inverted comma six cylinders comma next one comes out as eight cylinders click control enter now if you want to check once again for the summary of cylinder one it says i got cylinder and cylinder cylinder one the answer comes four cylinders are 11 six cylinders are seven eight cylinders are 14. okay so this is part one is covered let me quickly do one more vs v for v-shaped engine s for straight engine so v is equal to s dot factor vs number one step number two v1 is equal to factor v with labels c means there are more than one and in this order v shaped engine this is equivalent to variable view in spss i am providing the meaning of the codes and v s s is for straight engine okay control enter this comes and let's check summary of v1 it comes v shaped engine 18 straight engines are 14 total is 32 yeah now we are ready to do all sort of analysis our data is ready this equation with dollar we can take uh, two columns or more okay if you want to take more than one column dollar is for one column if you want to take more than one column then we use bracket for that capital bracket these are the two uh, criteria of uh, selection just let me show you it's a good you ask this question uh, just see the empty cars empty cars it uh, starts with the uh, mpg cylinder displacement for example if you want to choose any one of them it's uh, called uh, dollar dollar only one you can fetch i want to fetch cyl dasp and hp so for that the other option is capital bracket let me say data is equal to uh, what is the name empty cars capital bracket so whenever you write capital bracket capital bracket means a selection dollar means one column capital bracket means more than one so i can write it as uh, say this is uh, this becomes sort of a matrix it says how many rows and columns for example just look for this one comma it means first row and all the columns when it's missed out it means all the columns check it out this data so i should write this uh, data i selected it control enter so look for this is the data of first row 21 6 160 110 3.9 2.6 right if i do it like this not here this is blank and this is one so what will happen it is what is the syntax number of row comma number of column so i wrote it like this it means all the row when it's left blank it means all the row of first column so it becomes like now this control enter it becomes see this 21 21 28 21.4 18.7 32 so what is meant by this 26 31 
actually it simply counts it helps you like these are five this is the 18.1 is the sixth observation and this is r is so intelligent it works on like if this is the scenario shall i run it once again now this is 10 it understands in the first there were nine it comes 10 it won't change now but if you let me do screen size only this much if you do here then r will work on that in the first line 11 etc then this is 16 etc this will work with this way so this is 26 so this will is 15.1 this is 31st then 32 this is 26 then 27 28 29 30 this is 31 this way so it will just help you so if you have to take two columns cyl and hp so what we can do all the rows of column number two and three and now let me sorry let me remove this and directly run so just check it out do i have more than one column i have the data of obviously i can put m is equal to i can save it in somewhere else but uh, here it becomes this one so what if uh, i want uh, from two to five so these are the column number two three four five except mpg cyl displacement and then disp hp dread etc those if i'll say one column three what it means first three rows of these columns so three row and the five four columns are there two three four five if you want all the data except second two or this data so you can write minus c it means except this rest all the so it's same except this one rest all of the data will come here first three rows of all columns except two three four five this data will come okay okay there's a question please explain how to take a variable in one uh, dear are you looking for actually a demo file have i opened demo file is this available demo yes it's available here so from the demo file let me take d is equal to demo and from the demo file let me take out the first 32 observations of uh, column number eight so what is this let me see this uh, when this symbol comes it means r is processing okay this is the math column 32 and uh, table is another name of table it provides into this format with the 22 T 10 rows it has shown and 22 more are there now this uh, d is the data from the demo do you understand from the demo i extracted 32 rows of eighth column so first look at the demo in the demo look at the eighth column eighth column is this math so i took 32 observations from it now let me try to work m is equal to mpg plus d m so what is this value math mpg data and plus i have taken the math data check it out once again what is mpg mpg is this data what is the d data this is the 87 etc so can you see this data is different this data is different 87 plus 21 108 can you get this 21 this is from empty cars file and d, d this data i have taken from that file demo file obviously their numbers should be same you, you can't say the mismatch uh, that these are 5 and these are 32 add then it will get confused or give some strange results otherwise 21 and 87 let's add it so the command i wrote it was m is equal to or forget about the m directly mpg plus d so it will come like this 108 110 so you can work the point here is when you take something into the global environment now it's no longer associated with that file now from that file you brought something to the global environment global environment is open to all anybody can fetch and you can perform operations from here if it is in the file certainly it's a challenge to take data but take it to the global environment that's the beauty here like i just said d is equal to demo capital bracket the, what is meant by capital bracket selection of the data so there are two ways of selection of the data one is the dollar one column of that particular thing you fetch out and a bracket means more than one so i said 32 rows of eighth column and then we can make d which we can use in the empty cars also okay so let me quickly now show you few other things uh, 
let me first work with the empty cars and uh, the name of uh, the variable is uh, mpg shall we see this first variable mpg what we can do we can uh, do let's see uh, do, you, uh, do you remember this uh, unit number one of statistics what are the various things we can apply mean of mpg is this much okay median of mpg and the names are so simple that uh, you need not to remember just the simple name standard deviation of mpg this quantile quartile here is called as the quantile q u a n quantile so it says zero zero quantile means what it's a minimum and what is the 100 percent quantile it is a maximum 25th percentile first quartile 50 is the it's as good as median 50th quantile is median 75 quantile etc these are the quantiles other than that if you want to find something like uh, min min of mpg so it will say this much max of mpg so it will say this is 33.9 etc right you can do all sort of stuff so can you find the skewness also it says <laughs> you wrote skew it says well what i don't know what is skew okay no problem so let me do here as require r e q it comes to top menu require what is the name of the package movements control enter loading now right skew it says yeah skewness from the movements okay yeah mpg of that so it comes 0 0.64 uh kurtosis of mpg pg it comes 2.79 etc right but the problem here is what i was saying that you need to type every single can't we do just one command and everything will come here so many so many packages are there wonderful packages and one which i prefer it's called require summary tools summary tools right so it says something something it was built for the version 3.6.3 now you are using version 4 don't worry so now i know this summary pack summary tools is there it's a very good package but i forget what was the name of that uh, function no problem we have something su summary tools colon colon now it says the various things available are clear tmp c table define keyword descriptive df summary can you see this pattern it says exam ens exams these are the files these are the data set on the left hand side it's also written this is the data set of 30 students or exams a simulated hypothetical data with the 30 students so please recognize this symbol these are the functions and these are the files so those are data sets uh, tobacco tb etc etc so i what is this descr it says this will provide you the details of calculates mean standard deviation minimum maximum maximum so isn't it a wonderful thing you need never you know you require to remember these things why you need to remember these things r is there to help you but yes if you remember about the package that's a great thing write the name of the package descriptive and write the file empty cars will it work for the entire one it's a no 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 it works only for the one particular thing okay not empty cars mpg will it work for this yes it says c descriptive n is 32 mean is 20.9 standard deviation minimum median maximum interquartile range coefficient of variation skewness standard error kurtosis percentage valid uh, what is n valid it's uh, looking for the missing frequency if it is 30 it means total was 32 but the two are missing 32 means entire data so this is a very handy all in one go we'll get if there is one variable we can walk with this in case uh, there is uh, other like what to do <laughs> we cannot find this of uh, what was the name of our variable here m or a can you find of a well a x must be numeric a is not numeric a is a factor for that we have something called table two two are the variables either table zero and one or summary but a was only factor so we gave it some other name a1 we have given okay so let's work for the table a1 so it's a automatic 19 manual 13 or you can use as summary of a1 it says automatic both will work the same but table is a very very multi-purpose you know the power of r comes here really you will just love it table a1 comma v1 
what is uh, a1 a1 is this one and v1 is the factors just see it becomes 2 by 2 table it uh, may not be properly visible to you now see can you see it becomes 2 by 2 table now look for the third thing table this is the same it means the same particular thing table command is for univariate bivariate as well as multivariate so i remember its name was slender one slender one now just see it becomes slender for this this for n data maybe i need to put little bit uh, of this so for four cylinder eight cylinder for a1 for uh, for v shape engine this is the table for straight engine this is the table mm -hmm. do you see this so now it's a multivariate because three variables are there cylinder a1 v1 so i made it that uh, for the v shaped engine make it a separate for a straight engine make it a separate so same same command table so if you use for one it will give one if you are using two like i worked here with the two so it made two by two table automatic v shaped engine there are the 12 vehicles hope it's uh, visible to you automatic v shaped engine there are the 12 see it once again if i write this cylinder one so it comes four six eight only this then i said okay with v1 i hope there was something called v1 so whosoever you are writing first will go to the column other will go to this column first we will go to the rows etc let's change this order so this is whosoever you will write first will go here the second will go here instead of this if i'll do it like this table v1 comma this now see what will happen v shape it becomes a 4 6 goat into this columns can you see whosoever you will write first will come into this later it will go here likewise let's go for a multivariate in this i will check for the third one that is a1 actually for this it will split the table so it will split the table for a1 automatic this is the table and for manual this is the table uh, maybe it's not properly visible because i have used zoom to a great extent uh, let me remove that it will be more clear now now it's better so for the automatic so it means this will be the table will be made for this for the third one and segregated now i know you must be wondering no no why not uh, make a complete table complete meaning of the complete table is see i want these 10 to be further divided these are the 10 vehicles who had the straight engine and four cylinders how many of them were actually with the what is the third one automatic and manual divide this not to make the two separate table three and seven within it so for that i think uh, there is something else uh, its name is uh, f table if i'm not wrong it must be f table cylinders one comma v1 comma a1 and it comes like this for four cylinder v shape engine this straight engine this six cylinder and eight cylinder it's just like spss like output isn't it there is something else prop dot table prop dot table if you use prop dot table what will happen it will say margin is not resourceful mm, okay, okay 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 so maybe uh, basically prop dot table converts into the percentage because this uh, data is uh, in the numbers if you want to convert into percentage then we can use prop table or i will prefer one from the summary table su double m a r y uh, y summary tools i will use c table c table is wonderful now assume you don't know anything about the c table c table is cross table cross tabulation is called c table so the best part is what you will do question mark so what is meant by the question mark question mark means i don't know what it is so now please uh, uh, tell me so it says yeah my pleasure so it's a cross tabulation the meaning of the cross tabulation is you will write first the variable x then the variable y then you will write another argument remember all of these are called as arguments this is c table in the summary tools it says it's in the prop proportion proportion how to write it then use any if you want total style this much arguments are there and then everything in detail like look at the prop if you want 
proportionate on the basis of row that's the default need not to write anything if you want column wise then write c if you want or oh, none write n if you want for total write t let me show you what's the meaning though uh, the best thing here is it will tell you all these things what the meaning is and then compulsory it will tell you an example also that this is the example use the tobacco file so you know where is the tobacco file it comes with the summary tool then along with that it will say that uh, use this use this use this so it's a best way i learned r studio actually from r just use it and you can save this work on it so let's see what i am telling you i am saying in the summary tool let's write it as v1 comma a1 and see what output it will give you very big one hope it's visible to you by default it converted into the row percentage how it will be read out of the 18 total vehicles having the v shaped engine 12 have the automatic transmission 66% and 33% that is 6 had the manual transmission and so on. Now I have not asked row proportion. It says by default it's a row proportion. If you don't want it, what you can say PROP is equal to N. N means don't show. Okay, this is the table. I want to know, show it me row wise. Then either you don't write it. If you don't write it, it will automatically show row wise or the meaning of the row wise is PROP R. This is the same. If you want it column wise, don't uh, tell me the V shape wise total. Tell me of all the automatic vehicles, that is 19, what percentage were the V shaped? That is 12 divided by 19 into 100. Out of all the vehicles having the automatic, what percentage had the V shaped engine? So it says for that 63% as for taking this as the 100%, this is 12% and 7% and so on. This comes like this. If you want total on the basis of this 32, out of 32, how many vehicles, what percentage of vehicles were having the V-shaped engine and automatic? So PROP is T. So it says 37% are automatic, 21% are automatic with state, total 19, that is 59% had the automatic and so on. It is based on this 32. So this way you can compute. Okay, taking it uh, to uh, their uh, MS Word. <laughs> so you can just copy if you want this command, if you want uh, simply this means, so select it and you can paste it there. Though tomorrow I will share you one option, directly you send it to MS Word, but uh, this option always works. Don't worry about this uh, change of the formatting, we can change. Actually, we will directly send it to MS Word. We won't uh, take this copy paste. This need to be done a number of times. We'll directly send it to there. So it's 4 p.m. Uh, time to stop now. Hope uh, you enjoyed this session. If uh, I tell you one thing, friends, if you stay for two days with the R Studio, I guarantee you will never touch the SPSS and other things. By the time your SPSS will open, your entire work will be already there in the uh, MS Word file. It's so fast.